Happy Easter from Sweden. Swedish fish to fry. Just a quick uh, vlog or whatever it's called. I don't know. Um, Easter in Sweden. Uh, there are a few things that are, are really sort of important about Easter in Sweden. Uh, one is colored feathers on sticks. When Easter arrives, suddenly colored feathers on sticks appear. It's like gay pride. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, why would you put colored feathers on sticks? I, why wouldn't you? Uh, it's pretty fabulous. Also, it keeps children busy. See, um, you take these sticks, right? And then you get your feathers here, and you then you take wire. Can you see? Yeah. And then you, you wrap it around, and, and then it becomes this, which is, I mean, it's pretty... Pretty fantastic, huh? I mean, this is like Dr. Seuss. It's nightmare. It's burlesque. I mean, you're really setting up children for futures in, in theater and and drag shows. It's 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 pretty terrific. Uh, it makes really makes my year. Uh, and um, witches witches arrive on Easter. Uh, uh, children dress up as witches. Mostly little girls. Uh, boys can do it, dress up as witches as well. Uh, dads can't, but uh, no, can't have everything. Uh, and what I like most about it is that it's it's, it's the costumes are or or non-commercial. They're homemade costumes. Uh, and and for instance, they 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 consist of generally the traditional Easter witch costume consists of old clothes, like old raggy clothes, an old dress. Um, you have red rosy cheeks, so you paint red rosy cheeks, you put a few dots in there, um, and then then um, you have a handkerchief, you know, like a tied handkerchief, not a, not a witch's hat, I don't know why, but, uh, and then you have a metal pot, teapot, like this, I, I, have, I don't know, um, and then also a broom, a broom can be this traditional broom, you know, just a broom broom, or a broom, which is broom made of wood and sticks and all that great stuff. Um, they, they're sort of like uh, classic hobos meet motorcycle gang members. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, now, uh, my daughter, two years ago, it took us three hours to get the outfit together. We had to get the right exact outfit before she was ready to go fly off to the Blue Mountain. And that, that's where the witches go. They fly off to the Blue Mountain. I don't know where the Blue Mountain is, but that's where they fly off to. And we flew, well, we drove, actually. We drove off to Lund, uh, where the Easter Children's Easter Witch Festival was held. It, it's like Lilith Fair for kids, you know? Um, now, also, you have, you do have traditional Easter Shamalama Ding Dong. You've got... Uh, Easter eggs, traditional Easter dinner. You also have Easter egg hunts, uh, Easter basket. Well, they have Easter candy, but not Easter baskets. Here's what they have. They have these paper mache eggs that you put them in. So you put the candy in these, and then, you, then the kids wake up, and that, that's how they receive their candy. That's just pretty cool. Uh, so Eastern Sweden, uh, colored feathers on sticks. As you, This is great because it hides my... And neck. Uh, witches, right? Of course. Uh, traditional Easter, all the traditional Easter jazz mixed together in one cauldron, pun intended, of pagan fun, traditional religious celebration, feasting, and in theory, the coming of spring. And as I look out the window here and I see the remnants of snow, I wonder and hope. Spring will come. Spring, hope springs eternal. And I hope that it will be here. Happy Easter, Glod Pask, or pa Glod, yeah, Happy Easter. Hey, all from Swedish Fish to Fry. We'll see you later. I'm sorry, we've got to get out of here. I don't know, this is things shut down and, okay.